Okay, let's just go ahead and get this out of the fucking way, shall we? gotten that out of the way and out of my system. Yeah, so the F8 is now available for us to earn in some way or another. So let's go over that, shall we? Oh, and by the way, my name is Stefanos, the leader of Renegade 2.0. In case you're looking for an organization or you're tired of the way that your organization currently is treating you or you feel limited by the way your core by the way you play the game because of the way your organization acts, then come my way talk to me, see what's going on, and uh, we'll go from there. But without further ado, we're going to get straight into what y'all came here for, which is the F8, right? So, there's two ways of getting it. The first way is through the gold ticket that you can find through looting, you know, loot boxes throughout the verse. And they can be in a mining, you know, station, or a bunker, or an outpost, whatever. They spawn everywhere. Their drop rate's pretty RNG. Some people have better luck than others, but, you know, that's the first way of acquiring it. And after you acquire said gold ticket, you're gonna wanna go into anywhere that has a rental terminal like this, and then you all you have to do is walk up and hit F on the terminal. It'll consume the ticket in your inventory, and you'll get this message right here. You have received an F8 rental for one day and can purchase the ship, right? It's essentially what it does. It also unlocks a form badge called 2953 CDF Gold, okay? Now, I am guessing that you get the Platinum form badge by actually doing the Platinum method, which is what we're going to get into next. So, in order to acquire the Platinum license, you will have to kill a CIG dev in order to do so. Now, in order for this to work, there's an event, a priority mission that'll pop up in your movie glass to go and find said dev, kill said dev, and take said item off their dead body. As soon as you do so, you will have a god marker on you, and the entire server will know your location and will come after you and try and kill you. Your objective at this, at this point is to get straight to Lorville, a new deal, or Area 18, Astro Marta, and use the same method. You just walk up and click the terminal that you would buy a ship. It'll consume the Platinum license, and you'll probably get a similar message that says you have earned the ship. And basically, when you unlock or turn in the Platinum license, you will be accredited a free FHC Lightning to your account with lifetime insurance. When you buy it on the store, you can eat through the gold ticket or the gold license. You get a warbond option for 260, which has LTI, and you have the non warbond option, which is the store credit option for six months of uh, insurance. You cannot CCU the ship and you cannot gift the ship. Okay? So, now we're going to get into the, to the loadout and some QA points about the F8 Lightning. Okay? The first thing about the F8 Lightning is you will be able to no problem change the components of the ship or the systems rather your coolers your power plant your quantum drive your shield generators there's no problem doing any of that but as soon as you start trying to fiddle with the weapons and the missiles you're gonna have issues right now I just, I guess it just won't, simply will not let me look at a rented ship for a loadout. But basically, this thing comes stock with four badgers and two size three tarantulas and two size two tarantulas. I removed all those weapons and put two size two neutrons on the wings, 
two, two size three distortions in place of the tarantulas. And then on the top turret in the nose, I put size two attritions. Okay? Now, you can put more distortions and less DPS if you want to. That's on you, depending on where, what you want to do. It's how you play. Now, as far as missiles go, you have to shoot all the missiles off the ship, and then you have to bring it back and store it, and you should be able to put missiles on it that way. Okay? Now, that's essentially the TLDR on the F-8 Lightning. Let's see if there's anything else to go about. So, through the, um, the Q&A, it says that we should be able to um, traditionally change the loadout. And it says right here in this question, is the FAC's weapon loadout fixed, or can all weapons also be connected to a gimbal, puck, slash turret? The answer to this question reads as follows. The F8C comes with both fixed and gimbaled weapons by default and supports the normal normal range of customization, which would imply that we should be able to take off the gimbals and put higher size weapons on there. So I'm just going to cut that off into a bug unless they say otherwise. But that's just one bug. Okay. The second bug is the audio issue with the thrusters, but that's really kind of a that's just a polish thing. Now, as far as the functionality with the gimbals and the loadout, um, that brings me to my next point on the Q&A here, which is the gold standard. It's not gold standard. This release is primarily delivering the existing asset with some quality of life fixes that enable pilots to officially take to the skies. So basically, bag of holding, no weapon rack as of yet, and limited ability to fuck with the loadout. Now, I, I again, I don't know if that's intended or if it's just something that's not messed with because, you know, they haven't had to mess with it for so long. So I'm just going to assume it's a bug until they say otherwise. Now, is there anything else that goes along with this? I've gone over the form badges. I've gone over the loadout situation. I've gone over a couple of things in the QA. Now, the trailer's pretty neat if you want to go watch that. Note that I watched it when it first came out because I was on top of this shit doing rain dances and chat and shit. I've been over this. So here's the loadout for those of you that want to see that. And I'll blow it up here on my stream here so you can see that more clearly so you can pause the video or whatever so you can clip that okay let's see is there anything else I'm pretty sure that's it now I could go on to some more more things and drama but I mean meh right you know as far as morphologists and um Khaleesi go with their predictions with Pyro. I wish y'all the best of luck with it. And I, I hope it comes true, honestly. But deep down inside, I'm, I'm fairly confident it's not going to be this year. But, I mean, I could have been wrong about the F8, but I could also be wrong about Pyro. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Again, Godspeed, and I hope it turns out well for y'all like it turned out well for me with my prediction with the F8. Um... I guess I could I could mention that that um, the F8 I don't consider a high skill ceiling fighter because it has so much shield, so much tank, so much weapon spread that it kind of um, it kind of makes up for it kind of the ship itself fills a skill gap because of its capability. So that's why I say it's it's not as high as a skill ceiling compared to say an arrow or a gladius or any other light fighter such as a talon blade right you know yes those ships have their own have their own ver form of cancer but still you do have to have some decent competency with that ship in order to survive in it right you, ca you can't just not know how to dodge fire but at the same time you know I will leave y'all with this last thing I mean, tricording is an exploit. It circumvents ESP. So, you know, 
I don't consider that a viable dodging tactic, so I, don't, I try to actively not do it. But, you know, to each their own, y'all do you. But I'm just saying that it's not going to be a viable flight mechanic going forward in the master modes. So just keep that in mind as you're out here flying and, and uh, getting in the fights with people. Okay, guys? So that's essentially all I have to say about this entire this situation. Um, you know, maybe one last thing, and I mean it this time. For all you whale backers that are disgruntled, you know, just, just imagine, like, remember, you know, Concierge got devalued, and it went to a wave system in a paid testing universe for the PTU. Like, never forget that. Okay? It was, only, it was only a matter of time, if not natural, for something like this to happen to your echelon of the community. So, um, you still have your fancy paint jobs, your fancy armor, your fancy coupons, and your fancy exclusive access to concierge and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, anyway, all I'm saying is, is that what goes around comes around and, you know... At the end of the day, this does help CIG combat the pay-to-win narrative substantially. Right? I mean, think about it. No one can no longer say that you have to pay $10,000 to get access to this ship, right? So, this is, in fact, a good thing for CIG's image. It's also a good thing for the community. And, you know, overall positive. So... That's it this time. This is Stefanos of Renegade 2.0 signing out. Uh, make sure you get this. You only have 10 days from the, from the recording of this video. You have less than 10 days, so 9 days from this point to acquire this Haas. And while you're playing the server, while you're on the server, be on the lookout for those those priority missions to go hunt a dev. It's 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 called a hunt for a reason, guys. So. Oh, I I know what I can do to leave leave what last thing I can do to leave y'all something here. Let's see. I I know the, the perfect thing to leave y'all with right now.